got a new event in the game this time around so let's hop right into it it is the world challenge raid against super saiyan 2 kefla now normally when it comes down to raids in dragon ball legends it would be a co-op event where you would pair up with a buddy and everyone around the world would unanimously attack the raid boss until their health ultimately reaches zero but in this case it's slightly different you have your own individual amount of health that you have to knock down and in doing so you receive rewards so let's hop right into it so this is it right here this is how much the global damage that has been dealt um is but like i said it's your own mission with it right right now we have 500 thousand or 500 million health sorry uh 500 million health that we have to knock down but kefla has only 50 million health per battle so again it's not like the format is vastly different it's just everybody has to work like together yet we're all doing our own individual battles against kefla if you will so with that being said there is another thing that they updated with this too and that is for this anyway and i hope it's a standardized thing too we finally have co-op presets thank you so when it comes down to raids you don't always have to worry about like swapping characters and all that stuff you can just load up a reset and go about doing your battle so that's good i already have my team set so i'm not gonna like set presets right now but we should be good to go so with that let's do it we're gonna uh oh hello we're gonna do uh three battles and then i think we'll be good but yeah i'm i'm actually really really happy about this too and plus again you get a lot of good rewards in this too apparently hoi poi is also involved as well which is always great because hoi poi look i will always stand by saying this hoi poi was one of the best things that they've included like so much free stuff like z power oh uh z power um like zenny all souls so much stuff and plus the mish rewards you get for them usually crystals um more z power also stuff it's it's freaking great it's honestly amazing I got an itch that needs and, and you're gonna scratch it thank goodness i got out the way okay so i don't think she's a we obliterated i think die yeah so i don't think this is gonna be a difficult co-op uh boss like at all Okay. Why would you sidestep and then you strike? All right, look, man, that is all on you. Like you have rise and rush. All you had to do was sit there and wait. Yeah, I'm. I'm not tripping. Hopefully, we do a lot of damage though. Yeah. Yeah, we would have done a lot more damage if dude actually used his brain. Uh, why? He should have saved it for Rising Rush, but what can you do? Okay, throw, smack, and smack. Okay, dude is only picking Key Blast. I, in truth, he should be picking Strike. I don't know why he's picking Blast at all. No, oh, darn it, she healed. Die! Oh, I tried to land one final hit. Hey, but look, dude messed up, so I'm not tripping. Hello? Oh, he got out the way. It's time. Yeah. I'm popping my main immediately. Like, oh. No, I'm here. <laughs> like, dude, you messed up my Rising Rush. You gonna watch this legendary finish. <laughs> yeah yes sir i i love this legendary finish man oh my gone like do, did i need to land that no but yeah i, I kind of just wanted to land it this time around but uh anyway so first battle done uh very very easy obviously if you have the boostiness as well because i think it's um it's uh blue evolved vegeta it's also UI Goku and somebody else. I think it was Jiren. So we easily could have cleared it in 30 accounts too if we did the um, double rise rush, but it is what it is. Yeah, Jiren and Champa. So those are the other boost units. Dude's name was Glizzy. 
All right, uh, let's continue. But yeah, like I said, this should be like fairly easy in a general retrospect. Like even if you don't have, you know, UI Goku or Vegeta, as long as you have like Jiren or Shampa, you should be able to run through this fairly quick. And I'm pretty sure if I actually took the time to uh, check, but there's probably other um, boost units uh, as long as they fit a particular tag as well. So there really shouldn't be too many people struggling with this event, right? Like should be able to go through it fairly fine. So yeah. All right, now Yoshi BR. All right, look, man, you got Blue Evolved Vegeta. Thank you. I like the one thing I just wanted was for this dude's connection to work. That's it. Okay. Kefla do stay ready though. There we go. Starting off with dual impact. That that's always like the best start you could ever get, like in co-op. Smack. Charge. Final flash. No, Kefla, no. <laughs> I don't want you to do this all day. I I want you to die. Alright, die! All right, there we go. See, this, this dude, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, People keep on picking Blast, so I'm going to pick Blast just to be safe. Who knows what will happen. Throw. Smack. Oh, man. Like, the one time I decide to go against my instincts is when somebody actually picks the special skill, so that sucks. Like, you see how quick that was? If me and the first person just landed uh, Rise and Rush together... We would have wiped her out instantly. So, there you go. And we're getting a lot of the, uh, these medals too, which is always great. So, uh, although, I don't know if I have anything to use them on right now. Maybe. I'm not sure. But, I'll have to go double check. Okay. So, we'll do it one more time, and then I think I'll be good for now. But, yeah. We're, we're draining her health very, very easily. Because we'd have to go through this, what, it's uh, 50 million a run? So, if we do it 10 times then we knock down that entire health bar. But I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, you're able to continue doing this battle over and over and over again. So, yeah, like, just keep on doing it and aim for greater rewards, honestly. I, I think that's what I'm going to do, too. I, I need to, like, uh, refresh my mind on the uh, rewards that you get for, like, the higher tiers of health that you knock down. But it's this is it's a good value, man. Like, the, the event itself is honestly not hard it has a great incentive like I, I cannot stress this enough Th these events have been kind of crisp when it comes down to giving us resources take advantage of these yeah no what screw it i'll run it hey he's a boost unit but yeah these things have been really gracious to us when it comes down to resources take advantage of these events don't let them slip by like i cannot stress that enough like these events are way too good I'm actually impressed that she had a different quote for each battle. Power. Turn smack. All right, so that Goku is a boost unit, but something's telling me I'm going to be carrying the team on my back. Okay. Thank you for helping me out, finally. Smack. Final. This dude has no Dragon Ball cards. None. Like, something's telling me, like, some of these guys just be avoiding these cards for no reason. And because of that, it's going to drag on the battle. I'm saving that special move. Nice! Dual impact! Extra damage. Okay, now I have to save this dude again. Nope, never mind, she's going for me. <laughs> she's going for me. Leave me alone. This dude didn't even try to save me. Insane. Okay. Yeah, like I like I said, like I'm probably gonna be carrying this because I'm easily dealing the most damage. Very. Oh, she healed. Darn it. This is gonna hurt. Oh wow, I actually didn't even feel that. No, can you use your last dragon card, please? There's no way this dude does not have the last Dragon Ball card. Thank you. Okay. I'm sitting here like, there's no way this dude does not have that card. Okay. Final flash! 
Wow, of all cards. I, I will never understand why people would think it's a good idea to ever pick that card. Okay. So, I mean, we ultimately dealt, like, um, enough damage, right? Like, uh, Rise of Rush is obviously overkill, but still. Like I said, easy. I, I definitely carried the weight of the battle in this one, but uh, at least we got all the limited time rewards as well. Current combat points. Goal achieved. Combat points received. All right. Uh, and these, man, I really got to stockpile these. These come in like so clutch. It's actually insane. Like I said, guys, great value, like in terms of resources, take advantage of this event. It's really not hard. And as long as you have the boost units or unit that's like, you know, God key or universal, uh, universe survival saga, you, you should be fine. You should honestly be fine. But I really like this event, but I do want to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about this format of raid events in Dragon Ball Legends? Again, let me know in the comment section below. And also, one last thing before I forget. The shirt campaign is actually... I had to end it early. And the reason being is because they took down both of my shirts. So, I either have to find a website that will let me post the shirts. Or I might have to make some changes to them and try the campaign in the future. But as of right now... The shirts are actually gone and there's really nothing I can do about it right now. So I wanted to make sure that I got this out there because it actually slipped my mind to say that at the beginning of the video. So I'm saying it at the end. If you're trying to get one of the new three pods, no Super Saiyan shirts, they are currently unavailable because both of those campaigns got taken down. But I will try to get them up by some sort of revision in the future, hopefully soon. But we'll see how everything turns out. But with that being said, I'm Adakuba, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.